Welcome, amazing artists, to Art with Albright on YouTube. We are glad you're back to uh, draw the happy hippo today. Are you ready? If you have a piece of paper and a pencil, uh, grab a stomp. If you don't have a stomp, that's okay. We always use our finger. We're going to get started to draw this adorable happy hippo. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to start drawing very lightly. We're going to block in the shape. So for the head, I'm just going to draw a real small circle. Okay, you see how my finger, it's not that big. And then for the nose, I'm going to draw a smaller circle right up there. Okay, don't laugh. It's not a hippo yet. We're just building the character by blocking in the shape. So now let's take, and just lightly, we're going to draw and connect these and make the face. So see how I'm just taking this real slow and I'm going to just stop right there. Okay, do you see how that's starting to turn into the head? Let me show you again. See this head? He's turning, he's looking up like he's looking at the sun early in the morning saying, oh this is awesome. Alright, so we have that. Take your eraser either on your pencil or your cute little eraser that you have standing by and just take out that line, uh, the lines right in between the head and the nose. We don't need those anymore. They were so helpful. Okay, so then we're going to take that line and we're going to go back and we're going to draw that hippo head. Okay, so right here you notice that little um, dent where it's going down up to the nose. We're going to just start right here and we're going to draw an eye with an oval. Okay, and the one that's closer to us is going to be slightly larger, not too much. Okay, do you notice how one is larger than the other? And then we're going to draw the pupil inside that eye, and I'm just going to take it from the bottom and go up, so we're okay there. Then I'm going to have the pupils, or, or the reflective dots, looking in the same spot on both eyes. There we are, we're coloring this in taking it and going very well. You probably can't see that one too well, but we're going we're gonna to work with it. And then under the eye, I'm going to just shade very lightly with my pencil in case I don't have a stomp. We don't have to paint it. We'll just use our pencil and draw that a little darker. So then we need the nose holes. Okay, we're going to do those. And remember, the ones that are closer to you are going to be larger. Okay, so we have that. So below this nose, we're going to draw a little tooth, and below this one, we're going to draw another tooth. So he's got two of those big teeth hanging out there. Hopefully he's friendly, right? Okay, so right behind the eye, we're going to have an ear, and I just like to have a big old um, curve, the backward letter C, I'm not sure what that one is, um, and then I put like a little curly Q inside. And then behind his head, we're going to have the other ear going in the other direction. So far, so good. Now let's take this top of the mouth, and we're going to make him come up with a smile. Of course we have Happy Hippo smiling, otherwise he would not be called happy. Okay, and then the bottom of the mouth, the jaw, we're going to pull down, and we're going to bring back just slightly. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to erase this line that we used for the circle to begin with. Okay, so we're going to take that off, get rid of that, and we're going to just leave this area alone just for a few minutes, okay? So back here, we're going to take it further out because his head is looking up, so it's extended a little. And I'm going to just draw, just slightly finish that head right here, and then right in the middle, I'm going to draw a circle right here, just real lightly, block in that shape. Okay, we drew that real lightly, we can erase that, but we're going to use that to help us um, create our character, okay? That's his body. If you're not happy with it, if you want it longer, shorter, um, fatter even, um, you can do that. But let's just start working on this part of our, our creature. I like his head, I like where it's tilted, so let's just go with it and take it and I'm going to follow that and I'm going to go around and then I'm going to pull it down. Okay, I pulled it down a little to create the legs. Now I'm going to go down the front. Um, I'm okay with it being right there so I'm going to take that and give him his chest. 
This happy hippo is a guy. We want him to have a big chest because he wants to scare off all the little hippos and say, I'm the big man. Okay, and then another leg coming down. So over here, we're going to have the back part of the leg. And this hippo, I'm going to put him in some grass, so we're not even going to draw his little toes, okay? You can do that later. Now the bottom part of the hippo, I'm going to go ahead and erase all this line down here and get rid of it so that we don't need that area, right? Okay, so we have a leg here. Then we're going to have a leg... Um, behind him. His two front legs are right here. Okay, we have those. Then we have, see your line here? We're going to continue his belly and go just a tiny bit like this um, and bring up that fat belly to give him the crease for his big legs. Okay, he's got really big legs. So we have those here. Okay, so on the legs, we're going to go ahead and add some grass because he is just so excited to be tromping all in the grass. So let's give him some, some great texture of grass, okay? So there we have grass. We're going to give him the horizon back here behind him. Let me get rid of all my eraser marks. And then his other leg is back there. We can't see it, so I'm going to just darken that in right there. Okay, so we've got the creases for his fat little belly over his legs. And anywhere you have, like if you look at your, your, your wrist, when you bend your wrist, oh, look at my wrist, you can see that crease right there. Okay, always add those for detail in your little creatures. Okay, add some little um, crease lines to make them look like they're really um, real, not just, you know plain Jane things. Okay, so under the neck, I'm going to just start coloring it in, giving it some shading, because the, the light is not as bright underneath there, okay? Even on your neck, your neck's a little bit darker than your arms, because the light is is hiding it, okay? I mean, your head is hiding the light on your neck. So the back, the further away from the light, the darker it's going to be. So now you get to do the fun part of going and giving some details. Give some details, give some shading. Um, underneath the lip, you want it a little darker, so I'm going to just darken that in a little. Around the nose, I'm going to just pull in some, some lines. I'm going to just color back here and give it some more illusion of depth, that it's not just a flat hippo on my paper that we're dealing with, but actually a cute little hippo, even his teeth. I'm going to just darken in right there so it looks like it's further away. And then I'm going to take my stomp and I'm really going to start blending things and making it look just so. Okay, so the eyes, I'm going to go under the eyes and I'm going to shade that, the mouth line, I'm going right under it, okay, underneath it. And I'm just taking those those areas that I shaded in and I'm going to start making them pop by by using my stomp. And I'm just going to go on back and forth on this. I'm not going to make a circular motion because he really doesn't have a whole lot of texture. Now if this was a hairy, hairy hippo, maybe I would add some some circular motion to give it some texture, but this little guy is just um, brand new, shiny, and so adorable. So I'm just excited that he wants to go play on the grass. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm excited he wants to play on the grass. So when the light is shining down, you, you cast a shadow. So I'm just going to pull some lines going back and forth because the light's over here. I'm notorious for putting my light on the right side. Casting a shadow this direction. Okay, so this side he's bright and shiny because the light is reflecting on him. But down here it's a little darker, right? There you go. Now later I'll teach you how to do the cute little feet with the toenails when I do the elephant. So stay tuned for the elephant episode and you can learn how to do um, the legs and the feet. Give them those cute toenails, you know, those big toenails that they have on those uh, elephant legs and hippo feet. So definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to see who's out there um, 
listening and participating with me. Uh, I will definitely um, enjoy any comments, and you are welcome to come back as often as you want and draw with me. I would love to see your work, and I would love to hear from you. So please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.